This demonstration uses the example school subjects and data built into Bonsai 2014. We will demonstrate using the subject visual art. Data for example school including forms R6 as well as class lists with levels of achievement and R6 rung placements is available on the Bonsai webpage of the QCAA website. The first step when using Bonsai 2014 is to enter the R6 rung placement for each student in the enrolment pane. Since the class lists are usually sorted by surname, click Name to do the same in Bonsai 2014, then enter the rung beside each student's name. Once the R6 rung placements have been entered, click on Rung again to sort students into rank order. In this example, the students' levels of achievement have already been entered into the Student Data Capture System and have therefore been imported into Bonsai 2014 with the student list. If it's necessary or if they change, levels of achievement can be entered directly into Bonsai 2014. The first step in assigning SAIs is to click on the Quick Layout button to get an initial distribution to work with in the editing pane. A warning comes up saying that you are about to create a linear distribution. It is important to remember that a linear distribution is only a starting point to place students in rank order on the screen. After clicking OK, a second warning appears saying that the linear distribution needs to be modified. Students are now placed in rank order on the editing pane. The next step is to select some students as anchor students. These are a sample of the student group that you will work with to make decisions about differences between their work. Working with a sample of the entire group makes the whole process much quicker and easier. As this is a fairly small group, we'll select five anchor students. The top student and bottom student in the group should always be selected as anchor students. The other useful students to select might be those whose folios of work have been verified by panels. With a larger group, you might select up to 10 anchor students, and with a very large group, you might select a number of anchor students within each level of achievement. In this distribution, as well as the top and bottom students, we'll select Edward, Caitlin and Philip. In the editing pane, you can drag and drop the anchor students along the 400 to 200 scale and the other surrounding students will move with them. This means that, after you are happy with the placement of anchor students, the rest of the group will only require minor adjustments because the rank order of the group and the gaps between them according to the Form R6 will have been preserved. A useful method to assign SAIs is to make a series of pairwise comparisons between three anchor students. It's easiest to start at the top of the group and work down. So first, we need to compare Edward's folio of work with Ailsa's folio of work and Edward's folio with Caitlin's folio. We then need to make a decision about whether Edward's work is more like Ailsa's work or more like Caitlin's work. In this case, when comparing their folios, Edward is considerably more like Caitlin, so his name can be dragged down to be closer to her. Notice that Charles and Cherie automatically moved with Edward as they are anchored to him. Next, we need to compare Caitlin's work with Edward's and Caitlin's work with Philip's and decide whether Caitlin's work is more like Edward's work or more like Philip's work. When examining their folios, Caitlin's work seems a little more like Philip's than Edward's, so we will move her closer to Philip. In our last pairwise comparison, we will compare Philip's work to Caitlin's, and then to Gorin's to decide whether Philip is more like Caitlin or Gorin. In this case, it is determined that Philip's work is around midway between Caitlin and Gorin, so we will drag his name further down to reflect this. You will have noticed that SAIs appear automatically in the enrolment pane and change in real time as students are moved around the editing pane. 
information changes in graphs and tables also changes as you move students around the editing pane. You may need to go through this series of pairwise comparisons a couple of times to ensure the student's placement on the 400 to 200 scale is a good representation of the actual differences between their work. Next, you can go through and make more fine-grained decisions about the placement of other students. Bonsai 2014 assumes that students are placed in the middle of their rung on the Form R6, but it may be more reasonable to represent them a little differently to this. An example may be where Cherie, who is on HA1 on the Form R6, only just made it to the HA level of achievement. Therefore, we want to represent her as sitting at the bottom of the HA1 rung. We will move her down the scale slightly to better represent her actual achievement. You should always consider whether there is any difference between students who are on the same rungs. In this group, Archibald and Philip are both on the rung of SA6. Comparing their folios, Philip performed slightly less well than Archibald, so we can move him down the scale slightly to represent this. Because Philip is currently an anchor student, we will need to remove the anchor from him because in this case we don't want other students to move as well. To remove the anchor from Philip, simply click on the anchor next to his name on the enrolment pane. We will then move him down a little and place the anchor back beside him. You can continue to make these sort of fine grained decisions until you feel you have the best possible representation of the differences between students in the group. Bonsai 2014 has some other tools that may assist you when you are making your decisions. There are three main tools you can use to check decisions in Bonsai 2014. The first tool is the rungs to SAI graph. The second tool is the ratio information table. The third tool is information about maximum ratio multiplicity and the number of rungs on the form R6 the distribution covers. These tools will highlight any major problems with your SAI distribution, although it is very important to realise that Bonsai 2014 can't check your SAI distribution for you. The tools available should be used together to make sure that your SAIs are reasonable. Sometimes one tool will show something that another does not. Another tool useful for larger groups is that you may wish to see only the anchor students on the editing pane. In this case, click this button to shrink non-anchor students. Click it again to view those students. Also, you can maximise each pane and you can zoom in to look at the sections of the distribution more closely. This is especially useful for larger groups. For more information about handy tools, see the Bonsai 2014 User Guide available on the QCAA website.